hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this look right here it's very very pronounced on the eye area the makeup in general is very how can I say this your everyday because that's what I was trying to go for an everyday makeup look but then as soon as I apply the black eyeliner it was just BAM like here here it is you know so this is how this look came out to be so if you guys are interested in how to achieve this look please keep on watching and as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as well like this video I really truly appreciate each and every one of you guys that are watching thank you so much i really appreciate it i don't know how many times i've said that before but i honestly honestly i'm so grateful for you guys thank you so much and yeah without any further ado keep on watching so the first thing i'm going to be adding is some noni glow face oil by cora and i love this thing right here i mean as you guys can see i'm almost running out this thing is amazing it's really really hydrating and makes your skin super soft so i'm just gonna be applying that all over my face Before applying my foundation, I'm going to be applying some Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Now what this does is pretty much bring luminous to your face. It's like very shine, not shiny, but more like radiance effect, if that makes any sense. I'm going in with the color Havel. It looks like this. Now I got these, I think, a long time ago. It's Cover FX. It comes in a tiny little container because these are the, like you try all four or all five. And and yeah, ever since I've been having them, I've been using it. So I'm just going to be applying that on my cheekbones. So I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and then I'm just going to be blending that out. And as you guys can see, this pretty much is a highlight underneath your foundation. I love doing this because it just makes my face glow in the sunlight and it makes my face look super, super healthy. And as you guys can see, I'm just dabbing that product and blending it out on my face. I'm not swiping it because you're just removing the product. And then I'm moving in with the Vita Lumi Air Chanel Foundation. And this is not a foundation, it's a fluid tint. It's a very fluid makeup and when it when i say fluid it's very runny it's super super lightweight but it's buildable and if you're trying to go for a very natural radiance look this would be it because it's really really good now i'm going to go in with my foundation and i'm just going to be applying a drop and now i'm doing the same thing which is just dabbing that product in And as you guys can see, that Tint Idol by Chanel is very runny. I mean, look at this. But it's so sheer. And it's, I don't know, it's breathable. Like, your face doesn't feel, like, super, super cakey. So this look right here is for any occasion, but I'm honestly not going anywhere because of quarantine. <laughs> if you follow the same steps I am doing, your face will be looking so, so healthy. I mean... People will assume that you're drinking some, like, water, you're just healthy, you know, and all that stuff. And this whole quarantine thing is helping you guys. But yeah, it's just the oil that I apply. And as well, the enhancer drops. So to cover up my under eyes, I'm going in with the MAC Select Cover Up Corrector. So I'm just placing it on the top of my head and I'm going in with a flat brush and I am just began to apply it underneath my eyes because I do really want to cover my under eyes. They're so dark and baggy. I just like them. Okay, so I'm going back again with my foundation brush and I'm just pressing that product in. I'm blending it. So next I'm going to be contouring my face and I am using the Anastasia Cream Contour. 
since I'm working pretty much with like runny makeup. I'm also applying it on the sides of my nose, but I'm just like pinching this brush. So to set my under eyes, I'm going in with my all-time favorite NYX HD Finishing Powder, and it's in the shade Banana. I love this powder right here. It's very affordable, and it does the job amazing. It doesn't have any flashbacks, and it brightens up your under eyes like no other powder. So I'm just pretty much going in with a pointy brush, and I'm just tapping in some of that product. I really want to set. I'm pretty much setting where everywhere I highlighted and that is on your normal places where to highlight. I mean this look, it's so natural. It might seem a bit too much on screen, but when you go on side, it's just like so natural looking. So to sharpen out my contour, I'm going in with a little bit of that product as well and just creating a line and then I'm just gonna go back and blend it out so don't worry if it looks all sharp So now that I'm done with my brows, I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and remove the excess powder that I have on the sides of my cheeks. So for bronzer, I'm going in with my Hoola bronzer. And I'm going in with a big fluffy brush and just blend and set that contour that I had going. First I'm tapping the product into my cheek and then I'm just going to be blending it off. And I like to do this. I like to have like a little smile just to know exactly where to apply it and where to blend because I want my cheekbones to be very defined. So for my eyes, I am going to be doing something, I don't know, dramatic? You can say, not dramatic, but more like soft makeup eye look. And I'm going to be using the same MAC Cover Up Corrector into my eyes. I'm just going to be applying that with... The same brush I'd apply to highlight my under eyes and I am doing the same thing which is just placing it on the top of my head just to blend it out and then I'm going in into my eye and just blending it out and as well just applying it all over my eyelid.
I'm going to be using an OG palette from like back in the day, which is the Kylie Cosmetic Makeup Palette. So I'm going to be using this shade right here first, and then I'm going to be blending it out with this one right here. And I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and make sure to tap off the excess and just I'm applying it on the crease of my eye. And as well, I'd like the edge what I'm doing and I am flicking it out towards so next I'm going in with a denser brush and I'm using the shade I think it's Duchess it's cinnamon yeah, I think I'm going in with the shade Duchess, and I'm doing pretty much the same thing, which is just tapping it on my outer corner and blending it out. Kind of like a cut eye effect. I'm going in back with that first brush and just kind of just hard edges. Like I want to bronze up my eyes so I'm going in with the shade Seashells. Just on my outer portion of my eye. Okay, so next I'm going in with a white eyeshadow. Just go with any white eyeshadow or bone looking eyeshadow. And I'm just going to be placing that in the inner corner of my eyes. So I don't like how it looks, so I'm just going to cover it up with same eyeshadow I use. It seems like it looks better like that. So for eyeliner, I'm going in with the NYX Black Eyeliner. And I'm using a Sigma Winged Liner Brush. This brush right here is my go-to brush when I'm going to be creating a very subtle or dramatic look. Like a very subtle or dramatic eyeliner. So I just finished doing my other eye and as you guys can see, I went a little overboard <laughs> with the eyeliner. I wasn't planning to do this, but it just happened so now i'm about to apply some lashes i'm going in with adrena lashes and i'm using the style faithful now these oh my gosh they're so pretty they're so sparse and so these are the lashes that i'm using so for mascara i'm going in with the voluminous lash paradise i think by l'oreal and i'm just applying a quick little coat Alright, so now that I'm done applying my lashes, I'm going in with some mascara and just doing a lightly, lightly, lightly coat on my lower lashes so they won't look that naked. Now, I would have loved to apply some black eyeliner into my waterline, but the my left eye is so delicate. If I apply um, black eyeliner or white eyeliner or anything inside my eye, it just starts crying out of nowhere so i don't want to ruin my makeup and i don't want to be in pain so that's the reason why i'm not going to be applying anything in my waterline but i feel like this look is so cute i mean look at this so for my lips i'm going in with the nyx intense butter gloss and i'm using the apple dumpling one
This is how my makeup came out to be. I think the lashes do help and I also think the liner did help. But my face looks so pretty. I really love it. I'm actually happy, you know? So yeah, so thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye guys!